Welcome to Arts of the Islamic World. Islamic art is a modern concept created by historians in the 19th century to facilitate the categorization and study of the material first produced under the Islamic peoples that emerged from Arabia in the 7th century. Today the term Islamic art describes all of the arts that were produced in the lands where Islam was the dominant religion or the religion of those who ruled. Unlike the terms Christian art, Jewish art, and Buddhist art, which refer only to the religious art of these phases, the term Islamic art is not used merely to describe religious art or architecture, but applies to all art forms produced in the Islamic world. Thus, the term Islamic art refers not only to two works created by Muslim artists, artisans and architects, or for Muslim patrons. It encompasses works created by Muslims, artists, for patrons of any faith, including Christians, Jews, or Hindus and the works created by the Jews, Christians, and others living in the Islamic lands for patrons, Muslims, and otherwise. So let's begin our tour of the late Islamic art period. The first piece of art is called Hunters at the Stream by Riza Abbasi. A painting was made in 1625 during the Safavid dynasty and the Safavid period. The focal point of the painting is a hunter sitting on top of a horse. The horse is drinking from the stream while the hunter sits atop with a bow. Two other hunters, one on the top right and one towards the middle left, are also sitting amongst the stream. This painting is on polished rag paper and it was made with ink and opaque watercolors and gold. Continuing with our tour, we come to the Shah Nama. This picture from the Iranian national epic the Shah Nama depicts a competition between a would-be usurper, Bahram Chubina, and the Sasanian monarch, Shah Khusra Parviz. The superior warrior Bahram advances on foot towards a group of archers following Khusra. One of the Bahram's men has fallen to the ground, followed by his horse and elephant, foreshadowing the victory for Khusra with the aid of the Byzantine army. Up next on our tour is Iznik Pottery. This piece of late Islamic art is called Iznik Pottery, or Iznik Ware, named after the town of Iznik in western Anatolia, Turkey, where it came from. It's a decorated ceramic that was produced from the last quarter of the 15th century CE until the end of the 17th century CE. This dish is foliated with rim decorated with flowers and a cypress tree made in the Ottoman Empire, Turkey, in 1575 CE. Iznik was an established center for the production of simple earthenware pottery with an underglazed decoration when in the last quarter of the 15th century, craftsmen in the town began to manufacture high quality pottery with a frit ware body painted with cobalt blue under a colorless transparent lead glaze. The designs combined traditional Ottoman arabesque patterns with Chinese elements. The change was almost certainly a result of active intervention and patronage by the recently established Ottoman court in Istanbul who greatly value Chinese blue and white porcelain. Next is Berzergmir Masters the Game of Chess. This piece of late Islamic art goes by the title of Berzergmir Masters the Game of Chess and was illustrated in the Shah Nama, which translates to the Book of Kings, which is a text that depicts many stories about heroes and authority figures during the time of the pre-Islamic era of Iran. This was a story written by Abul Qasim Firdasi, whose writing was not only of depicting both a scene of battle or a scene of diplomacy, but also was a turning point in the history of chess, believe it or not. Of all the board games that existed at the time, chess was one of the most popular. In this story, the picture is centered around the Indian Rajah Derwasa. He sent the board as a riddle to challenge Shah Khusra. If the Shah could not solve the riddle, the Rajah wouldn't have to pay tribute to him anymore. To solve it, he enlisted wise man Bezerjmir to solve the riddle in which he succeeded by showing how all the pieces were arranged upon the board. Fun fact, once this had occurred, the game then spread throughout the world, reaching places like Africa, Spain, and even Europe, popularizing the game across the world at the time. With our final piece of art, we get to take a break from paintings, pictures, and pottery. And we get to take a look at a really nice piece of architecture the Shah Mosque or Royal Imam Mosque. With the reign of Shah Abbas I came the golden age of the Safavid Empire, where Isfahan, Iran was made the capital and put under construction for a better Medan Imam or Royal Square, 
with new architecture like palaces, madrasas, and mosques. The early architecture of the Shah Mosque, also known as Royal or Imam Mosque, was designed by architect Ali Akbar Esfahani, and he used earth or clay sun-dried and baked bricks for the main building material. A way of depicting arabesque patterns with glazes on large-sized tile pat panels and putting them into place called the fans. Tile method was used over these bricks. Here this method is called haft rangi, or seven colors, because it's repetitive use of only seven colors. This mosque is said to have used more than 1.5 million ceramic tiles. The following presentation was made possible by Mystic Robertson, Alondra Arroyo, Brad Norlean, Seraphin Ledesma, John Dennis, Ryan Viodes, Walter without a last name, Matt Decker, Michael Tamu, Eric Knight, and Maddie Olay.